Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about Andorra. Everything you need to know about living in Andorra. And here are topics we're going to cover in this video. Firstly, we're gonna talk about where and what is Andorra. Then the general types of residence permits in Andorra. Then we're going to talk about the active residence in Andorra, followed by the passive residence permit in Andorra and the differences between them. Followed by that, we're going to talk about the Andorra permanent residence, which is a little bit tricky. Then finally, how to get Andorran citizenship. And the last part of the video, which is about the advantages and disadvantages of living in Andorra. And before we start the usual talk, you already know it. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, the link is in the description. And most importantly, subscribe. Let's start. There are no doubts that Andorra is one of the most unique countries in Europe. The country is located on the Pyrenees Mountains, nestled between France and Spain, which are EU members, part of the Schengen area. Andorra, however, is not part of the European Union, nor it is in the Schengen area. But since it has a free movement agreement with both Spain and France, in normal circumstances, there are no border controls to get in and out of the country. Andorra is a principality, headed by the Bishop of Urgell in Spain and the President of France. As you can see right from the start, Andorra is quite unique, and the amount of uniqueness will just grow as you will watch this video. Andorra is also unique in its excellence. It has some of the highest life expectancies in the world, which is easily understandable considering the high quality of life in the country. This fact, coupled with some of the lowest income tax rates in Western Europe, make Andorra one of the best countries in the world if your income is derived from remote sources. So, now we know that Andorra is one of the best places to live and to retire if you are relatively wealthy, but also if you just want to work and live in a calm environment surrounded by mountains in Europe. Considering this, let's check how we can actually move to Andorra. Now let's talk about how to get a residence permit in Andorra if you are an EU and a non-EU citizen. Usually, we discuss residence permits in Europe separately for EU and non-EU citizens, as most countries in Europe are either in the European Union or in the European Economic Area. Andorra is one of the few exceptions to this. In other words, it doesn't really matter whether you are an EU citizen or not. You will need a residence permit to live in Andorra unless you are a citizen of the country. Now that we know that all foreigners need a residence permit to reside in Andorra, let's see how we can actually get one. The first thing we need to know is that there are basically two different categories of residence permits in Andorra. One is the active residence in Andorra and the other, guess what, is the passive residence in Andorra. The active residence in Andorra is aimed at people that will have an economic active role in the Andorran society. May it be working as an employee or having your own business, as long as you meet the requirements, this type of residence is for you. The passive residence in Andorra is quite different from the active one, and it is aimed for those who can support their stay from passive investments and wish to reside in the territory of Andorra. The financial requirements for this type of residency are much higher than for those applying to have an active role in the Andorran economy. So let's dive into the active residence permit in Andorra. The active residence in Andorra can be obtained in two ways. The first way is if someone offers you a job in Andorra. The company sponsoring you will then help you to get your residence permit, and you will need most of the usual documents you would need in any other European country when offered a job, such as showing evidence that you are qualified for the job and a clean criminal record. The second option is if you want to be a self-employed person or to run a business in Andorra. This option is ideal if most of your business income is from Andorra. So, in that case, let's imagine if you want to open a restaurant in Andorra or become a plumber, for example. Among the requirements, you need to live in the country for more than six months a year, pay the minimum social security contribution, which is currently at 465 euros a month, and make a deposit of 15,000 euros to the Andorran Financial Authority. If you want to live in Andorra and obtain passive residence in the country, the requirements are a bit different. The passive residence in Andorra is in itself divided in three categories. The first option is if you want to live in Andorra as an investor. In this category, you need to invest 400,000 euros in Andorra. The breakdown is to invest 350,000 euros in real estate or a deposit in the country, plus a 50,000 guaranteed deposit to the Andorran Financial Authority. You will also have to show you earn more than 300% of the Andorran minimum salary. The second option is ideal for businessmen with international relevance. 
In this option, the investment is much lower, as you will just have to deposit 50,000 euros to the Andorran financial authority. At least 85% of your income must derive from sources outside the country. The last option is for international artists, athletes or scientists. In this option, you have to make the deposit of 50,000 euros to the Andorran financial authority. You will also have to prove your relevance in your field. Now we're going to talk about getting permanent residence in Andorra and once again, the country is pretty unique in this sense when compared to most other countries in Europe. There is actually no real permanent residence permit in Andorra and you will actually need to keep renewing your residence as long as you live in the country. As the years of residence go by and you are still in Andorra, the longer the residence permits are issued for. The longest you can go with a residence permit in Andorra is needing to renew it every 10 years. If renewing it every 10 years is not enough for you, the only way to stay permanently in the country is to acquire Andorran citizenship, which is the next topic in this video. If you want to get Andorran citizenship by naturalization, you will be actually in for one of the longest time requirements to live in a country before you can apply for citizenship. In normal circumstances, you will need to live 20 years in Andorra before you can apply for citizenship. This period can be reduced if you have studied during your mandatory education years in Andorra. You will also have to renounce your previous citizenship if you want to become a citizen of Andorra. So if you really enjoy Andorra and you definitely want to live there long term, citizenship is rather a consequence of this. Now we move to the last part of the video which is the advantages and disadvantages of living in Andorra and we start with the advantages. The first obvious advantage is a high quality of life. In Andorra you have a very high level of safety as well as a very clean air. The quality of the air is one of the best in Europe. Then you are also surrounded by nature and mountains. If you enjoy mountains, Andorra is probably one of the best places to be in Europe. You also have a very highly educated population and one of the lowest levels of poverty in the continent. The second important advantage of Andorra is its tax system. Taxation at a personal level ranges from 0 to 10%. Similar rates apply to corporations, with the general corporate income tax being at 10%, but with some exceptions that pay even less than 10%. So if you want to move to Andorra and you have a high income from abroad, either as an individual or as a business owner, the country is definitely a good idea. If you are an employee, however, there are not many advantages in Andorra, as salaries are comparable to those in Spain or France. The third advantage of Andorra is its cost of living. The cost of living in Andorra is actually quite comparable to the cost of living in Spain or France. But considering that taxes are much lower in the principality, you will definitely have an edge if you live in Andorra. Some of the smallest nations in Europe are actually quite expensive, such as Liechtenstein or Monaco. Go watch our videos about these countries here on the channel. That is not the case of Andorra, however. Regardless if you come for a short stay or if you want to move to Andorra, you will not notice significant price differences in the principality for services and products when you compare these prices to its immediate neighboring countries. And now to the disadvantages. Every country in the world has them. One of the most important disadvantages you should consider when living in Andorra is its isolated geographical location with a poor transport infrastructure. There are no airports or railways in Andorra, even though there is one airport called La Seu de Urge, Andorra Airport, which is actually in Spain, close to the Andorran border. The only reasonable way to get into the country is driving or traveling by bus. You can still get to Andorra by foot or by renting a helicopter. But I would not call these the most reasonable options to get into any country, not just Andorra. The second disadvantage of Andorra is that it has a very low population. Currently Andorra has just 77,000 inhabitants. This reflects in limited options for entertainment and services, including restaurants, bars, hospitals, spas, etc. So, if you want to live in Andorra, this is definitely something you should consider before making the move to the country. The last disadvantage of Andorra is that it is quite difficult to acquire citizenship in the country. As we have discussed earlier in this video, you usually need 20 years living in Andorra before you can become a citizen of the country. Added to that, the fact that you'll need to renounce your previous citizenship makes the Andorran citizenship definitely not the most attractive in Europe. And that's it for today's video. Write down in the comment section immediately what do you think about Andorra? Have you been to Andorra? Would you like to go to Andorra or even move there? And now the usual gibberish. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me. The link is in the description. And that's it.
Ah, subscribe. Subscribe. <coughs> See you next time.